A sea of Make America Great hats, banners, and buttons in New Hampshire tonight. President Donald Trump hosted a rally for his supporters in Manchester. Good evening, I'm Cameron O'Brien. After a slight plane delay, the rally got started and Trump touched on many issues in his 90-minute speech, including Chinese tariffs, the labor force, and health care. One of his biggest policies he talked about, immigration reform. We need to elect a strong Republican majority to end sanctuary cities, stop human traffickers, stop drug smugglers, and adopt an immigration system that puts the needs of American workers and families first. He also mentioned gun legislation, among a few other things, but one of his more boisterous moments was when he told the crowd if they care about their retirement funds, they have no choice but to vote for him. I know you like me, and this room is a love fest, I know that, but you have no choice but to vote for me because your 401ks, down the tubes, everything's gonna be down the tubes. So whether you love me or hate me, you gotta vote for me. Before he signed off and thanked his New Hampshire supporters, he told everyone to, uh, his plan to support and protect and defend the Constitution of the United States, to stand with the incredible men and women of law enforcement, and that faith and family are the true American way. Of course, we sent a crew down to check out the rally from the outside. Samantha York spoke to both supporters and protesters tonight. If there is one word to describe the crowd here in Manchester, it is loud. There are hundreds of people, not only outside, but inside the arena, listening to President Donald Trump give his rally speech. This is the first trip that he's made to the Granite State since he made his announcement for re-election back in June. People traveling from all over New England to be here. We caught up with one group of Mainers who traveled from Auburn for the event. They say it was well worth the three-hour drive, and they were really impressed with how everyone was getting along. They were worried bringing this many people together paired with conflicting views would be a recipe for disaster. But instead, they say most people were happy to reach their hand across the aisle and have a civil conversation. No one's gotten out of hand. No one's, you know, got violent. You've got libertarians here, you've got Republicans, you've got Green parties, and you've got Democrats. We're all trying to blend. We all have a certain mission is why we're here. But, um, all in all, we're still Americans. So. Right after the rally, President Trump will be boarding Air Force One again and heading back to Washington, D.C., where he's expected to rest up for another round of rallies happening over the weekend. In Manchester, New Hampshire, I'm Samantha York, New Center, Maine. You might remember Donald Trump lost to Hillary Clinton in New Hampshire in 2016. The video behind me shows Trump in Manchester when he was campaigning in that election. Despite the loss, Republicans are solidly in his corner. The most recent UNH survey shows that more than 80% of GOP voters back Trump, just 5% of Democrats. We spoke with some people who started lining up for tonight's rally the night before. Thousands right, of people know, showed up to this event. You might have seen our own Pat Callahan live in our earlier newscasts, and he tells us the crowd overflowed into the parking lot filled with at least a couple hundred people waiting to get inside to see the rally. Officials plan to set up a drumbotron in front of the arena. And as for the state of Maine, a poll by Morning Consult shows Trump approval or Trump's approval rating, rating in Maine has dropped 21% since he was first elected. 42% approve, 55% disapprove. In 2016, Trump split Maine's electoral votes for the first time in the state's history. And as he tries to win it again, it appears Mainers are still very much divided. As far as the Democratic side, there's nearly a month to go until the next Democratic presidential debate, but 2020 candidates have less than two weeks to qualify, facing a deadline of August 28th.